Okay, this is it. Finally, we're done. Almost. It's the uh, Mission Possible device that we rigged up for Science Olympiad. Separate marbles, toothpicks, and paper clips uh, into three separate containers uh, with a 60 second timer. And the whole thing is to be completed as close to two minutes as possible. Good. Okay, for record purposes, uh, today is February the 7th, 1995. Okay. 10 o'clock. Pardon? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, yeah. Late. Okay. Again, the contents will be dumped into Hopper 1. Okay. They will slide down the track underneath the magnet track. And in here we have a very powerful magnet which will capture the paper clips on their way down. The remaining, the remainder of the mixture will be uh, dumped into this hopper here, which has a uh, slit in the bottom to let the uh, toothpicks through, and a hole on the other side where the marbles can roll out. Okay, now this hole where the marbles roll out is a crucial point because at this point is a switch which activates the rest of the system. Now, when the mar uh, marbles roll across here, that switch will get hit, and it will start motor number one. Okay. Motor number one does, uh, serves two purposes. One purpose is to pull the magnet through this pulley system, through the magnet track. And the result in action, the paper clips underneath will be drug along underneath the magnet track and stop when they hit this wall. The magnet will continue to move until it's out of reach of the paper clips, in which case it will fall into the paper clip uh, track and fall into the paper clip uh, car. Now the other thing that this motor serves to do is to pull the stopper out of the uh, water system. Now this will start the water flow, which consists of our 60 second timer. Now the 60 second timer has to begin when the action starts and has to finish before the entire process is over. The sole purpose of this device is to just count 60 seconds and then ring a bell, which we have yet to put on. Now the 60 second timer works by starting here with an open valve that is, uh, has a cork in it. And when the first motor pulls that cork out, the water flow will begin to, uh, to flow. Um, now inside of here, we have uh, a bunch of junk, that's what it looks like. What it is, a series of uh, d uh, containers to displace enough water so that we have exactly 60 seconds worth of water um, to fill up to this point. Now at this point right here, the water enters the pipe and goes out through this, uh, this pipe here over here into this container. Now this happens at exactly 60 seconds, or at least we hope it happens at exactly 60 seconds. Now, the water will flow out of here and hit the switch. Now, I should go ahead and mention this right here is a relief valve so that uh, it leaves some of the water coming out so that we don't have con uh, con constant water flow, um, which can uh, lose points. Now, when the water goes into this container here, it will push this lever down. When that put, gets uh, pushed down, over here it hits a switch at this point. Now this switch, in turn, activates motor number two. Now motor number two's purpose is to pull the string here over this pulley and to pull the valve uh, completely shut. This will stop the water flow, thus stopping the 60 second timer. Now, here are a series of contact switches. Now, the way these switches are set up, this switch remains open. When this valve comes shut, it will push this, this uh, switch closed, letting current go through these two wires. Meanwhile, this switch is normally closed, allowing electricity to go through. Now, what happens is, when this switch is closed, it allows electricity to be pumped into this motor, allowing the motor to run. Now when this valve begins to close, it will eventually come along and push this uh, switch open, cutting the power 
to the motor, thus stopping the valve from shutting or shutting any farther. Now, this contact switch here, when closed, does the final action. This will activate the train, pulling the train forward and all its contents up. And it will ring a bell, indicating that the whole process is finished. Meanwhile, bumping the main power switch, and thus ends Mission Possible. And now we're going to explain how to uh, set up the electronic section of the setup. All right, we have here a control panel which controls the electronics of the uh, uh, board. This switch right here is our main power switch. Our power is indicated by this red light here, like so. Voila. Okay, it's important to note that you do not want the power on continuously because the voltage regulation system that we have down here uh, does put a little drain on the battery regardless of whether we're using anything or not. So it's kind of like your car battery. Uh, never want to leave your lights on. These two metal switches here are for uh, adjusting the motors. Now, uh, for lack of equipment, uh, one of these switches is bi-directional, the other is uh, unidirectional. The way the switches work is click the power on. This switch controls motor number two, the far motor. Okay, when you turn this motor on, it will turn the motor on in the forward direction. That way we can wind up the motor with uh, relative ease. Uh, the second switch controls motor number one. Now this is a bi-directional uh, switch. When you push it down, it will release, it will tighten the uh, the motor up. Um, basically, the action would be pulling, like pulling the magnet and pulling the cork. You push it up, it will relieve the pressure, the uh, the strain on the string, so we can pull the magnet back after a test run and put the cork back. All right, now we're going to go through the final checklist for the device to make sure that we have everything set up the way um, it's supposed to be for the final run. Okay, first of all, always make sure you have the power switch on. It will not work without it. All right, when the power switch is on, uh, it's ready to roll. Now, as far as connections, um, gosh. Uh, Wing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, be sure that, uh, especially over here on these uh, connections on the uh, alligator clips, they, the connections are not touching because if you do, we'll short stuff out and have a bigger mess than we really care to have. Also, this switch down here it is imperative that there is a gap in between here and that it's balanced so that when the water enters the cup, comes together and I forgot to have the power on let me turn that off. Okay now also it's important to uh, make sure the alignment of the main uh, ramp is set. Okay yeah this is plexiglass. Now plexiglass will build up a charge I suppose after a while uh, and the toothpaste will stick to it so we're using downy dryer sheets to wipe this down to get rid of any excess uh, static charge that we have on it. Now make sure that we have enough gap of the plexiglass here into the final trough here for the, the uh, toothpicks and the marbles so that it, the toothpicks will roll out over this and uh, run against the edge so we don't get stuck, we hope. Um, make sure that the trains are in the correct position so that they do not uh, they, the toothpicks and the marbles and etc. don't wind up on the floor. Uh, here's the exact spot we need for the trains to be. Make sure they're railed because um, it's a pain when they're not railed correctly. Um, also make sure that when the marbles roll out they're going to hit the switch and fall into the train. Um, let's see. Okay, now as far as this switch is concerned the idea is to make sure this switch is touching but it's not clamped in. When the train comes across, we want to make sure it's open enough so that it doesn't have to work to get at that. Just barely open, the train will come along, break the switch, and turn off the power. So again, 
make sure it's just barely on there. Okay, as far as the magnet track, make sure the magnet is all the way to the left and that the string is tight. You can uh, get the string, the position you need it, by just adjusting it with our, our electronics back in the back. Also make sure that you have some slack on this string and that it's attached up here and the cork is in, especially if the valve is in this position. Um, also make sure when you're getting ready to start the whole thing that this valve is open otherwise we'll have major suction and nothing will come out of the... Yeah, it sucks. Valve. Yeah. It does. <laughs> okay, uh, we should also note down this section this switch right here. What this switch does is releases the, uh, the main power switch to this motor turning this motor off. When the magnet gets down here it will hit that break the connection and shut the motor off. Alright, now on this setup over here, make sure that these switches are in the correct position. The way you do this is make sure that there is no gap between these two contacts. You can hear them bump together. Likewise, on this setup, make sure you can see light between the entire length of the switch. That way, we don't have any current going through them until this thing pulls back. Now, next, we're going to show how to set up the second motor. Make sure that this string here is pulled taut. Okay, likewise here because we don't want this to be a real loose windup. We want to make sure it's going to be wound up uh, right. Now I'm going to use again the switch here to uh, turn the motor on. That's all there is to that. All right, it's now time for the final run through. Oh man, here it goes. <laughs> all right, five, four, three, two, one, here we go. to add a little something to our checklist here. Uh, make sure that the uh, our displacement garbage in here uh, isn't going to hinder the uh, cork in any way. In other words, the problem we just had was the cork got stuck on something in there and uh, added more force than what this motor was set up to be and just pulled the lever right off. So it's all reset, ready to go. Pray hard. Here it goes. Ready? Five, four, Three, two, one, go. Success! <laughs> okay, um, the timer went off within 56 seconds, which is within the right range, which is cool. Um, you can, thank you. The uh, marbles, toothpicks, and paper clips have all gone into the right containers, which will have little nifty little signs up uh, indicating that. And uh, all the action has stopped, which is good. That is very good. <laughs>